Hello to all beginning guitar students and welcome to this tutorial video. I'm going to go over some of the exercises for learning the notes on the guitar. The first exercise is to play on all of the strings. Using a pick, I'm going to pluck each string two times in a steady rhythm, like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you'll notice that I plucked each string two times and each note or each time that I plucked the string I held that for two beats. Then I repeated that and then I moved on to the next string. Now when you're moving from string to string make sure that you move your pick down before you play the note and feel your pick resting or landing on the next string and then you can pluck. So let's do that one more time together. We're going to start with the sixth string and end with the first string. One, two, ready, play. Very good. Now I mentioned this in class. Another good idea to do is to say the name of the string, the letter name of the string, as you pluck, like so. E, E, A, A, D, D, G, G, B, B, E, E. If you do that a few times, then you'll be able to quickly memorize the letter names of each string. Okay, moving on. This next exercise is to learn all of the notes on frets one through three. So the first box here is fret one, the second box is fret two, and the third one is fret three. And on most acoustic guitars, you should have a dot placed on fret three of the fingerboard. Mine doesn't actually have one, but there is a dot you can see here on the fifth fret. So most acoustic guitars will have a dot on the 3rd fret, 5th fret, 7th, 9th, and 12th. So we're going to work with the notes on the first three frets. So we're going to start on the top string, 6th string. We have E, F, F sharp, and G. Now you'll notice I'm playing the 1st fret note with my 1st finger, 2nd fret note with my 2nd finger, or middle finger and third fret note with my third finger or ring finger. So practice it like so. If you can do that and keep your fingers slightly curved as you play the notes, then you'll start developing strength and independence in your fingers. Also, you'll need to stretch your fingers apart a little bit because you want to be able to fret the notes right before the fret line. That's where the note is the most in tune. So just as a reminder, always place your finger just before the fret line. Let's go over those notes one more time on the sixth string and then we'll move on to the next strings. One, two, ready, play. E, F, F sharp, G. Good, now let's move to the fifth string or A. We have a, A sharp, B, C. Let's do that again. Ready, play. A, A sharp, B, C. Moving on to the fourth string, or D. We have D, D sharp, E, F. Let's try that again. Ready, play. D, D sharp, E, F. Moving on to the third string or G, we have G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Let's play that again. Ready, go. G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Now moving to the second string or B, we have B, C, 
C sharp, D. Let's try that again. Ready, play. B, C, C sharp, D. Now let's move to the first string or E. We have E, F, F sharp, G. Let's try that again. Ready, play. E, F, F sharp, G. Very good. Now, the sooner you memorize that, the quicker you'll be able to play single line melodies and solos, and also you'll be able to understand the notes that are in the chords, the open chords that uh, are the first chords that you'll learn on the guitar. So make sure you uh, study this diagram and take a look at that. I posted that on the class channel. This next exercise is the E minor and E major triads. Now a triad is a chord that is made of three notes. It comes from the Latin word tri meaning three. So it's just three notes. So we'll play three strings and we're playing strings one, two, and three. That's the treble strings. And if you just pluck the open strings, just uh, simply strum the open strings, you have what's called an E minor triad. So that's G, B, and E. Now, if you place your first finger on the first fret of the G string, you have the note G sharp. And if you strum these three strings, then you have the E major triad. So now let's strum each triad two times. You can use a pick or your thumb, whatever you pr prefer. And we're gonna hold each triad for four beats. One, two, three, four. E minor, two, three, for E minor, two, three, now E major, two, three, four, and two, three, four. All right, now we get to the G major chord. This is the first open chord that I'll be teaching in this class. Take your middle finger or second finger, put that on the third fret of the top string, that's the note G. Next, take your first finger or index finger and place that on the second fret of the fifth string, that's the note B. And now take your ring finger and place that on the third fret of the first string or bottom string, and that's the note G. The rest of the strings are open, no other fingers down. Now strum that, and it should sound like that. Now once again, as a reminder, make sure that your fingers are right up on the fret line. You don't want your fingers back here, you want the fingers right next to the fret line when you play this chord. Okay, now what we're gonna do is strum in a steady rhythm. First, we're just gonna play one strum per bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. If you got that, great. If not, rewind the video and try it again. Now we're gonna strum two times per bar. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. If you got that, great. If not, rewind the video, try it again. Now we're gonna play four strums per bar. Down, 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 like so. And it's four bars total, so if you're counting, we're going to strum this chord 16 times. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. All right. Hopefully you got through that. If not, rewind it and practice that until you can strum in a steady rhythm. Well, I look forward to seeing you on the next class session. Bye-bye.